Microsoft 365 includes Teams plus the apps you always relied on, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook, as well as new applications for creation and expression like Loop, ClipChamp, Stream, Designer. It all comes alive in the new Microsoft 365 application. It provides personalized recommendations powered by the graph. It brings together all your favorite productivity tools, as well as third-party solutions you choose to add. Microsoft 365 is getting a brand new app for web, Windows and mobile, and it's becoming the home for your favorite tools and content across Microsoft 365. And we're gonna dive into what it includes, what it does, and a little bit more about the app that you all know and might love. So let's begin with exploring the availability of this platform. So they're expecting this experience to be available very soon. It's rolling out starting next month and it replaces the Office application. And what they're trying to do here is centralize as much as they can. So the new 365 application, what it does is it allows you to do a few new things. Create new documents from the variety of apps that they offer and use some of the pre-designed templates, including ones featured in organizations branding. So much more customized for the experience. You can also access files and contents created and shared by users, no matter where it's stored. And they've got some great ways that you can access that and whatever recent documents. It reminds me very much of Google Drive in the way they do it with priority side of stuff. You can also discover, launch, and pin all apps and tools the Microsoft 365 offer in one location, which is great for keeping on track of all of the different apps that you may use. You can also get recommendations on work that likely needs your attention based on meetings, assigned tasks, and document activity, as well as perform common quick actions on content without switching to another app. They've also added several features to enhance the experience, including a feed. And this is a new location to keep updated with work being showcased in shared files and trending content in a bite-sized card format. They also will allow app modules a redesigned interface to access the 365 and related applications. The app module is now available on mobile for the first time. Now you also will be able to tag. This is a new way to improve the organization system, especially if you're working independently and keeping track of all the files. Now it's really interesting. Jared Sipataro, the CVP of Modern Work at Microsoft, stated the new Microsoft 365 app is one of the part of a larger strategy focused as a company on Microsoft 365 and is reflective of the innovation we've strived to deliver as work and life continue to evolve. The new app serves as a hub for all productivity apps Microsoft 365 offers and provides a simple yet powerful experience for our customers as they navigate changing work styles and collaborative patterns. Microsoft originally launched Microsoft 365 subscriptions for consumers two years ago, offering access to Office, Teams, and more in a monthly subscription. It's been largely successful according to The Verge, as Microsoft 365 consumer packages continue to grow and are currently at 59.7 million. And that's a Verge article that I will link below in the description. Now this comes as a host of updates from the Microsoft Ignite 2022, and it's a much improved experience. You'll be able to access and join Teams meetings from here and be able to see all the documents in one location. If you've not yet checked out, Microsoft have been investing a lot in Microsoft Teams, introducing new features like Microsoft Teams Premium, something that they're aiming to advance the way that teams are intelligently using meetings by extracting some tasks, giving you intelligent recaps, and advancing the way that you interact in meetings. Or not, they're trying to remove meeting fatigue and it's quite interesting as part of this. Now, Microsoft 365 are trying to point towards something called the Microsoft Graph. 
something that Sanjay Nadella talked quite a lot about in when he was talking about some of the Microsoft 365 apps and what they're trying to aim towards for the future of the different third-party apps. And Microsoft Loop will play a pretty phenomenal part of that. And if you're interested in how Microsoft Loop's announcement came at Ignite 2 2022, you can check out our video that we've recently created all about that. So thank you very much, folks, for stopping by. Hopefully you found this Microsoft 365 video helpful. You can check out the Verge article as well as the blog post about this in the description below. And I hope that you found some value from today's video. Oh,